Welcome back, everybody. Drin Six Eight plays playing Pathfinder: Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, I just went through and did a quick uh, level up on all my mythic abilities. We still have this bonus on uh, from the Iomedi thingy that we did in the Midnight Fane. So I'm going to go talk to the Inheritor real quick, and then maybe try to go through this portal and see if we can <coughs> keep that bonus at least for our first four foray out. Um, looks like it's just going to be us six because none of my other companions seem to be available. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. If you notified, upload videos and or schedule streams. And let's go talk to the inheritor. Hey, everybody. Where is he? He's up here somewhere. Hang it. Up there by him. All right, we need to go talk to the inheritor. Uh, regarding our mission. Right here in the mines. Yeah, let's start this. So, the source of our trouble is these powerful crystals can be mined from the soil of the abyss as if they were just ordinary minerals. I was convinced that the secret of their origin must be more complicated and nefarious. This new knowledge terrifies me. There are half a dozen mines in the vicinity, and those mines are huge. The largest was abandoned just recently, it seems. How many crystals did the demons manage to mine? How many monsters with mythic powers did they manage to create? We must find out. Okay. I know the name of a person who is in charge of the mines. Hetzamira. Hetzamira. Pause and read that. It's Baphomet's daughter. Um... She is an old, dangerous adversary, a Nephilim, spawn of Baphomet himself. Yes, I know. Now I see it. The path we have stepped onto is dangerous, but is the right one. The demons you encountered before, even Darazon, were just officers in the Abyssal Army, whereas Hepsamira is a true princess of the spawn of chaos and evil. I'm not surprised that she's behind the secret of these cursed crystals, and I dread to think what she is capable of doing with them. Articulas and Baphomet servants. I'm not at all surprised. The alliance between the demon lords are usually fragile, and they break like a spider's web in the wind. However, the discord between our enemies can work to our advantage, no matter how repellent it is for me to even confidence. We must learn more about what is going on. It's unlikely to work. These portals are unlike the seal in Dresden. They cannot simply be swept away. If you use that method, you will either destroy them for good or open the path, but not to the place where the portal initially led and where our quarry fled. I've got a key to the portal that the demons who mine the crystals apparently used to leave this place. We take a look at it. The angel examines the flat piece of cloud crystal. I think I know how this key works. As soon as you finish exploring the mines, I shall open the portal. I've already finished exploring the mines. That's all I've learned so far. Alright, uh... Time to open the portal and press on. And then Herrick exclaims fervently. The portal begins to glow brightly, and the hand of the inheritor gestures forward, his hand flinched with this. Onward, wherever this road may lead us. To approach the portal, the angel freezes. Heaven above, just look at that. See the pattern of the sky piercing spires and steep domes against the midnight sky. This is Alushinera, the damned city of Nocticula. That's where our enemies were heading. You think you're quicker? Well, I'm quicker. There goes Sucher! The angel's blade is just a moment too late to touch the skin of the demon who rushes into the portal. That cunning creature has stolen our key. The portal is inactive again. I swear, even the lowest of the abyssal creatures are disgusting and despicable. I've got a second key. What could this be? It means that we will be looking for a particular clutch of demons among thousands of their kind. Oceanera is a real demonic metropolis. It's huge and macabre. It's it is a little safer, or rather, a little less dangerous than the other corners of the abyss. Lady Nocticula loves having visitors, including those from other planes. She doesn't like it if her guests are dying every day in her city. But if it happens quietly and without too much attention, her black heart won't skip, even skip a beat. We must be twi we must be twice, even thrice as careful in this nest of sin. Onward all together. 
I think that will be necessary. We need an outpost in the abyss, and it will be best if we build it right here. Farm a larger demon clones and close to the active portal that will allow us to return here at any time. All your companions that are currently unoccupied should take care of guarding and setting up the camp. Activate the portal. I've got it the second key. It's my time. Only five minutes in. <coughs> Let's go into the I got the second key. The demon spots cannot stop us, but still but we still haven't had much success encountering them. That is what we must make haste and move onward. I lost a key. Why can't I get out of this? Okay. So I guess I had to. Wasn't supposed to do it in the order I did it in. <laughs> Alright, uh. Well, let's go to the portal with the AT and see what the heck happens to us. Still got our funny little wings on. I tell you something, Champion. We are, go we are going to Alushanira, the city of cunning and seduction. Sad as I am to admit it, we are unlikely to find our enemies in the Nahidrian crystals they took without the aid of the dungeons of the city's place. If Samira has something to do with all this, we'll need another demon that matches her powers. We will need to find a way to make contact with one of the city's rulers. On that point, we know that there is a conflict between Octicula and Fathomen. <coughs> Conquest of... Okay, I've got something else in my journal. I will not welcome be welcome in this dark place, but I have prepared for this. The angel seems truly proud of his plan. I cast a spell myself so that not a single dungeon in this plane whose soul is devoted to evil will be able to see or hear me. Invisible. I will follow you and protect you from all dangers and temptations in this place as best I can, and the demons will be unaware of my presence. Now, let us go by the light and the sword. 720 experience points. Okay, when in doubt, save. Yeah, I should have saved before I went through the portal. Because <laughs> I'm in massive doubt here. Where the heck am I going? Going into a demon city. Okay, where am I at? Well, there's somebody up here. Zara, whoever that is. And I'm way the heck down here. Uh, don't know where I should go. I guess we just explore around. Beautiful. That's our way back to the next knowledge world. Nina should be able to do that. Judging by the surroundings, these are the slums of Aloshinira, Noctilia's capital city, the abode of beggars and vagabonds. It is impossible to descend any further except into the waters of the ocean itself. The bodies of the unfortunate are dumped. Okay. Look, another mortal. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting one. It will assure his guest nowadays. Merchants, travelers, demonologists, every kind of filth. Right, all just strutting around gawking. One of them approached me the other day and asked, I'm sorry, I'm lost. Can you please show me the way back to the middle city? <laughs> Come on, finish your conversation. Well, so I did, uh, show him. You got some nerve. If a guard caught you, they would have torn your head off. I'm totally a band messing with the guests. Okay, so they won't just attack me for no reason. Good to know. That's what this is telling me. I was discreet. Brought him to a nice and cozy back street where no one could hear his screams. Okay. So they will take you out if you're not around guards and stuff, it sounds like. I don't have to deal with massive fights right off. I guess I go up here? I don't think I can get any. Oh, there's steps over here. Steps. Citizen, commoner, commoner. Commoner, 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 commoner. Commoner. Beggar. Should we go talk to the beggar? Oh.
Here's in weird and unexpected ways. By turning the camera due south, north, east, or west, you can change the city itself around you, opening new paths. Oi! Give me a break. Okay. That's just so weird. Uh, well, loot. Take your stuff. Mr. Beggar, do you have anything to say? Shadow blood, right? Okay. A stranger lad from another plane was wandering around here looking for cheap goods to buy, so we pitched him some hot merch. And the guards nabbed him right at the gates. What a laugh. Knowledge 31. Splendidly. This is cast and everything in it is constantly changing, both appearance and nature, even architecture is in constant motion. This is the guiding principle of its design. So you gotta be careful on how you turn the camera. came back up. Lots of beggars. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of wandering around the city here. So I guess you got to turn the camera to see ways to walk through. Boy, this is... I've left a lot of stuff behind me. Can we get back down here? Don't want is to leave any loot. way. We'll be able to go over here. I'm going to go down here. Where's this loot? Oh, it's up there. How the heck do I get up there? Oh, well, we can't get there. Let's see what we can do. Should we go up this way? camera? See if something happens? Oh, that's how we get over there. No? Okay. So how the heck do I get this Space over here. Ah, I'm so confused. I guess I have to keep going up that way. Uh, how did I do this? So it looks like I can get all the way up onto this platform up here. Maybe turn my camera. Go like here. Okay, so if you're standing across the edge it won't cut you in half. That's good to know. <laughs> now what did I just do? 
something over here. Doesn't seem to be like any merchants around here. Yes. Here we go. So never deal with that crazy bitch of Alexia. When she gets bored, she starts doing horrible things. Uh, curses, that's him. The one who brought the angel to Olishner. Better give him a wide berth. Slave? Is that treasure? I hate my sister. I hate him. There was some uh, treasure up here somewhere. Demon girl? She fit in right here. I'm glad I was useful to you. Your stuff? Uh, I'm still not seeing any kind of. What is this? There's something on the table here. A book. Let's go read the book. I have a book to see. There's the book. What's it say? I have to read it. I have to see yourself. Everything it has to offer is season around you. You absolutely must include the main sites of this wonderful place in your itinerary. Five famous attractions in Australia. The Battle Bliss, the fabled combat arena where you can watch battles on Pearl between the most unimaginable creatures from the Abyss and other planes. Fights between infamous demon duelists Demonic duelists, large scale free for alls, slaughter of defenseless slaves. You can see it all. All you have to do is pick the time in the event. The flesh market's a massive slave market of the richest variety that yours truly has ever seen with her own eyes. It offers first rate quality product for all uses, be it for work, pleasure, sacrifices, or other more sophisticated purposes. The 10,000 Delights, this house of passion and pleasure, offers its services to all who seek carnal satisfaction. Guests are attended. By true masters of the trade who are so skilled that you just won't be able to leave, literally. So be careful about unleashing your lust and wildest fantasies for half as many visitors ever leave the main gates of 10,000 as enter. The harem. Do you dream of witnessing abyssal political life? The harem is the civic center of Elushinera, a place where Noctilia's closest associate, Lady Shavira, currently resides. Enjoy this facility's magnificent architecture as well as its exciting and fast-paced show trials. Okay. Tillis Palace. There is no question that the Palace of the Midnight Isles Sovereign is the number one spot for any interplanar, interplanar wanderer. The structure's grandeur, elegance, alluring grace, and imposing monumental scale are absolutely awe-inspiring. Truly only, truly only in the abyss could these qualities have come together in a single architectural matrix. Last year's truly has never got the chance to take a peek inside this gorgeous edifice. You will, dear reader, perhaps have better luck. Okay. Birzimbim Gimzapar. That is okay. Didn't learn anything, but got some stuff. There's a mobilities check up here. Is there anything up there I want to go find? I don't see anybody up there. There's a mobility check to go up. What was this? To a tavern. Should we go into a tavern? It's my time. 18 minutes. Let's go into a tavern. Let's go into the bad luck tavern. See what happens. Pretty sure I've lost my bonus things on for just a few more minutes. Um, things in here. Commoner. Man, there's stuff everywhere. Can I go take all this stuff? Prismatic ring, okay. What's prismatic ring? Version of Phoenix version once per day is a 17th level wizard. The wearer can recharge this ring by consuming spells for which the sum of their levels must be equivalent to at least 9. Proved version of prismatic spray. Okay. Something over there. Or some kind of a trap. I feel like a chosen one. You call? I finished here. 
Is there more? I feel almost like just she having her walk around and do it, doing all this because <laughs> she's a demon and we are not. I finished here. Is there oh, more? Cold iron. Cool. This is all this kind of stuff that we need. Got to be careful about rotating the camera though, because uh, it might change the landscape. I don't know if it works on the inside of buildings. There's no bartender. That's going to take me outside a different door. That takes me outside a different door. So I got a couple different ways to get out. What's this? Stuff? Can I find a bartender here? There's a slave. There's there's a named guy. Let's go talk to the named guy. A wrinkled demon with broken fangs and a missing eye stands before you. The eye socket is occupied by a large, squirmy, multi-legged insect. Yet it seems not to cause the demon any discomfort. He greets you with venom in his tone. Welcome to the bad luck. I'm Vergas, the innkeeper. Our establishment holds up a high standard of service in that it's better to eat and drink here instead of a ditch. Sleep here at your own risk. Drown the rest of your life in cheap swill or purchase goods of the highest quality and dubious origin. Upon giving your entourage a surprising look, the demon adds in a soaking voice, we accept payment in gold and slaves. Dirty floor, terrible booze, a clientele of scoundrels, each one more dreadful than the last, an innkeeper who's a crook and probably a creep. Ah, the perfect venue to celebrate our arrival in this God's forsaken place. Who wants to keep me company and maybe even entertain the other patrons with a few crusaders on? I doubt they've heard them before. You can count on me. We do not abandon our own. Let's find out what the locals here use to drown their sorrows. Surely it can't taste any worse than the mongrel liquor made from venomous spiders. Ah. Uh. Show me your wares. Large chests filled to the rim with all sorts of things. There are weapons and bloodied clothing. It seems these items once belonged to visitors from many different worlds. Here you are. Have your gold ready. I don't offer credit. Okay. By the way, I have something unique I can offer only to you. I had your crystal. It holds incredible power. I'll play dumb. What's in the head of your crystal? You haven't heard of them? But everyone in the show talks about them nonstop. Well, listen. This lot's... This lot of demons appeared, and they were so strong you couldn't help but wonder how they acquired such power. And the strange thing is, those same demons used to be common riffraff, but then they became, well, I don't know what they are. But whatever it is, it's strong. Rumor has it they suppose that the hanging crystals are the source of their power. No one knows what they are or how to get them, but everybody wants one. The world has grown quite popular these days. Everything in the this and the in that. No matter where you look, it's all hogwash and lies, of course, but my crystal is the real deal. Don't ask how I acquired it, but it's my secret. But I could sell it to you. So he has a head in crystal for some. He has potions. Cures. Um, hey dude. I'm gonna take a bunch of junk off my hands here. I didn't I didn't get rid of the No, I gotta get two more of those. Looks other than I got 16,000 for that. I'm gonna get a lot of money. Alright, uh, do I have weapons that I don't need? What is that? I don't even know what I have. It's a two one handed. It's a scimitar. Plus one scimitars. I don't need those. Plus three side. I got nobody that can use it. What's this bow? Shock composite longbow. How's it long bows? Plus three, but I have better weapons. Earthbreakers, no. Falchon, no. Fracturing battle axes, I don't need that. The Bardiche, I don't need those. Banshee's heart, thundering glaive. Hmm, we have to check out what his glaive is. Balanced defender, I liked that. Cold iron dagger, plus one, don't need it. 
with iron long swords, don't need it. Masterwork British. Masterwork Glaive. This is a great axe plus one, don't need that. Heavy mace plus three, I have better mace. Plus one, don't need it. Mithril Speed Scimitar. <laughs> this one nobody can use, so we can get rid of that. Rebound. Cold Iron, Gnome Hooked Hammer. Well, will Regil show up? He was in the Midnight Fane. If I have to take him on some kind of quest, we'll keep that for him. I'm not sure about this. Really nice weapon. Speed corrosive short spear plus four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A plus four short spear. I have a plus four long spear. This would let me be able to use the short spear and my. It's worth 32,000. Oh, unholy long spear, I don't need that. I like that, I like that. I have 78,000. This is 156. Well, let's see what this guy has. Usables. He's selling holy water? <laughs> the demon is selling holy water. You gotta be kidding me. He's got potions of haste. That's good. I might need to buy some of those. Uh, he does have some cure potions. Cure potions. My cure potions are kind of low. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy something from him. All right. Does he have? Oh, he has mixed spices. We're taking both of those and skullberries. Skullberry count. My skullberry count was really low, wasn't it? It's at four. It's my spices. So I'll be up to eight. So I need to have at least two more of those. Eight. What's my mold? My wine is only at seven. He doesn't have any sweet wine. Trap. Magical items. A Hygian crystal. So aim it grants a plus one comedy bonus to on knowledge world skill checks. Okay. They have armor. Which is mostly the junk I just sold him. Weapons, the junk that I just sold him. Right? He doesn't have his price. No, it's just the junk I sold him. Okay. Same thing with this. It's the junk I sold him. That's the one thing he does. I've got a bunch of this. Let's get a bunch of potions. Demon Slayer Soup. Oh, let's buy that. And if I need a ruby, I can get a ruby and a diamond. Emerald, but I don't see any diamonds. Diamonds is what I need. Diamonds and diamond dust. So he doesn't have anything like that. Right. Most of this is just junk that I think I just sold him. For the most part. Okay, well at least I got someone where I can buy a little bit more so I have the ability to get my mulled wine up on a regular basis. Magic items. Do I have stuff I really need? What is this? Lenses of prolonged gaze. These lenses make it easier to keep an eye on someone. Worn by a powerful AN... I got three additional is on forcing gaze per se. I don't have any ants. Should I just sell these? Can't really use them. Mighty fist plus one. I don't need those. Menace of death. Whenever someone dies on a ten foot radius from the wearer of this amulet of natural armor plus three, the wearer gets the effect of the haste spell for 2d3 rounds. 
effect is renewed each time someone dies. After this effect wears off, the wearer cannot make any weapon or unarmed attacks for 1d3 rounds. Wordmaster's amulet. Plus 1 resistance. Plus 2. Plus 3. Well, I gotta do some cloaking up here. What are these boots? Boots of Stampede. Where are these boots as their rank in athletic skill as a bonus to the damage roll on a successful charge attack? Can I put those on my horse? <laughs> Plus one rings. I don't need those. Uh, still not sure about that. Belt of Giant Strength plus four. Belt of Mighty Constitution plus four. Physical Foe plus two to Strength and Dexterity. Physical Foe plus four to Strength and Dexterity. Ooh. Just think about that one. Uh, Earth Unleashed. If the wearer of this ring has the ability to cast spells spontaneously, it grants them the ability to cast the following spells. Spiked Pit, Stone Skin, Acid Pit, Acid Fog, Caustic, Caustic Eruption, and Clashing Rocks. Still has to have spell slot card level. <laughs> I've got one that goes lightning. I've got one that does fire. Now I have one that does earth. I need one more to get uh, water, and then I need to have somebody that has... Uh, Plus five competency bonus on mobility might be something to put on me to keep my horse alive. That's interesting. Ring of Sacred Touch, yeah. Ring of Protection plus two we're going to keep because that might... Uh, that I wanted to try on... on the monk. Oh, I want to put that on. Physical health bomb. Strength and dexterity here. Giant strength of four. Divine constitution of four. I really don't see anybody that can use this, and I think I should just take the money. It's 35,000. Oh, these braces of a heavy hand. I wasn't sure I wanted to get rid of those. Braces of armor plus five. I might want to keep that around. Vast Intelligence plus four, Vast Intelligence plus two, Charisma plus two. Um, I think we'll just stop there. Do I have extra armor? Mithril Chainmail. Give that to him. Mithril Breastplate plus three. Mantle of the Night. This is plus three leather armor. Grants its weather plus ten confidence bonus on stealth skill checks. In addition, whenever the wearer loses invisibility, he becomes blurred as per blur spell. I might put that on someone. Full plate plus ones. Not worth it. Shirts plus three. I don't think that's worth it. Definitely not a plus one. Uh, still not sure about that one. Chainmail. It's just chainmail. Breastplate. It's three. Mm. Breastplate plus two. And heavy shields plus one I'm going to hang on to to make sure I have everybody equipped that can carry those heavy shields and has the plus one for them. So another 24,000. I'm off to 178,000. I still have some left in my pocket here. Huh. Well, these are worth a hefty little sum here, aren't they? Okay. So I still have money in my pocket, and I'm way down to on weight type thing. All right, so... Get out of here. Tell me the latest rumors. Have a drink and we'll talk. 500. Yeah. There's your face with obvious interest. The liquor stings and fills your mouth with a foul taste of salt and rotten fish. What do you want to know?
I mean, about this quarter or other quarters? I mean, about other quarters? So this is all about trade. 10,000 lights offer sex. The flesh markets deal in slaves and weapons. The mercenaries and assassins sell the death of enemies. Most successful business person of all is Shamira at the harem of ardent dreams. Merchandise is Noctilia's, Noctilia's favor and the favor of the powers that be. Okay. Upper cities, those who already have everything and have no use for trade. Imagine if you were a creature of divine power that could live in complete comfort, free of almost all limits. That's the kind of who live in the upper city. Be wise to stay away from them. In the lower city, they'll just kill you and defile your corpse. In the upper city, they'll pull your soul out through your nostrils with a red hot needle, cook it in a stew, then force you to eat it and wash it down with a cocktail made from your eyes and, and marrow. <laughs> okay, tell me about this place. <laughs> Imagine Elushinera in the, is this bottle. The lower city is the bottom. Explain it quite apt. Bottom of the bottle is coated with foul looking scum, and a dead insect with two fanged mouths is stuck to it. A cesspit. If someone or something needs to be eliminated, they send it to the lower city. Say the arena is the heart of the quarter, but that's nonsense. The whole quarter is one massive arena. Everyone here is a murderer, a thief, a scumbag. The bloodshed never ceases, and the dungeons of Alushanira watch it with a delight and wager on who will emerge from this lake of blood. You may think of the slums as useless finish, but they are the main source of entertainment for the city. Are there many folks from my world there? Most of them wear special accessories. The demon draws an imagining circle around his neck. They're slaves, is that is what I mean. Or meat, sometimes. We do get some free ones from time to time. Scum is a rule. The only type who can survive amongst demons. The humans can survive anywhere, even in the cauldron of madness that is lush and rare, just like cockroaches, eh? Tell me about this. It's short. There's no order in the city. There never was been. There never will be. There are no laws here. As we demons spits on laws, the only law here is might makes right. Take everything you can and give away anything you can't protect. Obey these those stronger than you, and maybe they'll devour someone else. Everyone does what Octicula says. She split Illusionary into three quarters, the lower city, the middle city, and the upper city. The elites live in the comfortable lives above. The fools and losers not rot below. And everyone else sits in the middle and dreams of climbing up, though they mostly fall. Each quarter is walled so that no one goes anywhere they shouldn't. Guards watch the gates. Truth, the guards are just a bunch of the most vicious and violent demons who carry out Noctilia's, Noctilia's commands. If someone cuts you down in front of them, they won't interfere unless she orders them to. Then again, if you decide to bash someone's head in, they won't concern themselves with it. The only reason they might chase you away is if they want to loot the corpse themselves. The important thing is, don't kill anyone in front of a crowd, and don't bother guests from other planes. Noctilia has a reason. She's trying to turn Alicia into an interplanar bazaar of the abyss. <laughs> Uh, right out of uh, Skeven Company, Myth Incorporated. <laughs> uh, okay. And as you walk around, I'm going to keep track of the time. Oh, not in some tiresome don't waste your time sense. Watch the time as if you were in a jungle and a predator was lurking in the brush. It might pounce on you, freeze you in place, stealing days, months, even years. You wouldn't notice any changes, and everyone around you would grow old and forget about you. In the abyss, time is fickle and an unruly thing. Okay, so time's not passing like normal. One last thing, mortal. You must have noticed that Alushanera was not built for your kind. It would be easy for you to get lost in our streets and die in an inglorious death if you don't know how to fly or teleport. But why should I want you to die while you're still drinking? Take this. If you lose your way, take it to any arch, and it will transport you here. Octilia's idea to aid guests from other planes such as yourself. Okay. Well, we know where we can find her. She's up on the top, right? So I don't need to ask that question at this point. So let's go ahead and leave. And piss off, stranger, and stay away from the diseased. If you try to bring some crap here, I won't let you in. <laughs> so can't come in here if we're diseased. All right. Uh, that's entertaining. Uh, where am I at? All right, I'm at 39 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Um... If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. You really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. You notify and upload videos if you're scheduled streams. I at least have some place I can I could dump all my stuff. So I got a bunch of money. I have a feeling this is. I mean, it was 500 gold to get uh, rumors from this guy. So I have a feeling this is going to be an expensive place. So I'm keeping a bunch of gold in my pocket too that I might be able to sell as well. Um, 
I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.